Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be announcing the winners to this year's Halloween build-off. And I think we did a very, we had some good con contestants and some good, um, wholesome fun. Man, you guys should have been here. For those of you that were here, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was streaming, I got up to about 55 viewers I think it was. And uh, we had about 40 to 50, I think we had about 50 on the server or something. I think it was 50 on the server. And uh, we had a lot of fun. Everyone was uh, really enjoying it seemed. And I'm um, so excited to show you guys what's going on and to announce the winner. And to uh, uh, make sure you guys are clear, the winner um, will get a $7 quota for um, G2G.com or G2A.com. Sorry, the gaming website. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And um, the winners will uh, choose a, se a game for $7. Now, they will also need to keep in mind that whatever the taxes and whatever the uh, one, the, so basically whatever is $5 because all the taxes and all the stuff uh, piled on top of that is going to cost $7 eventually. So um, just keep that in mind uh, as when you are picking out your prizes. For those of you that are watching, um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, also they'll give 15 credits in game. And so, first of all, what we have here is a sandworm, and this one is by yeah 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 by it's Wout here in Lilifar. Um, basically, a case the contest starts 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Times, and so it ended at 1:30. So basically, it was an hour and a half of building. No world edit was allowed. Um, they were not allowed to build outside the plot border, and they are not really able to change the wool. So um, the ground wool, which I'll show you later on. Basically, have fun. Winners will be given a $7 quota for one game on G2A.com. Will be a Steam code. So I should have said $5, so that way it would have amounted up to $7. But yes, um, basically, look, go through it and like make it so that it looks like you're going to buy it yourself. And if it's under $7, or if it's $7 even, then I'll get it for you. But if it's over $7, then you're going to have to pick something else. So yeah, so we got a sandworm here. This is very interesting. You got some buildings around. You got the big fat tail coming out and it looks like it's going in and out. Basically the theme of this contest was a scary and or and or or yeah, and or a creepy organic. And so this is pretty scary. Um, you got the idea that it is pretty scary. And uh, I definitely like uh, I like the mouth of it. However, I would have liked to have seen it like when they were building this, I was so excited because I would have loved to see like this big, thick worm coming out and like it was eating a mammoth or something. I don't know. Maybe there was, uh, yeah, maybe it was eating a mammoth or some kind of thing and like this huge sandworm coming out. Like, um, there's this movie called Sand Dune, I think it's called, and uh, they have a pretty cool thing there. But anyway, yep, that's the sandworm by It's Wild Hair and Lilifar. Now this one here is a little mesmerizing because I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it's by done by Thracolus and Woltrol. We sacrificed our last man to the babies. We need more men. The mother will awake. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, we got trees coming out the butt and we got little baby spiders running around on it. Um, and there's fire here. So I'm not quite sure what is going on. If um, I like, even after they explained it, I was a little odd, but you know, that doesn't matter what the story is. It's just as scary and creepy. It is definitely creepy, how it is pretty scary too, having this stuff. So it definitely is scary and creepy. Um, it has an interesting tint to it. Uh, it just doesn't make much sense to me, but still, you know, I was like, when they were building it, I thought they were gonna make it so that it looked like it was standing up and uh, doing something crazy, but it's, it's still pretty good. And um, yeah, so yeah, it's not a bad build. Definitely, definitely is a good contestant in the contest. And um, but yeah, it was this contest was a lot of fun. We had a lot of uh, really excited people, and everyone enjoyed it a lot uh, while we were doing it. All right, so this is our third contestant. This one is by uh, Phil the Milkmaker and Lego Ten Goob. Now this one is what is called the Shatuluhuhu. The Shatuluhu is basically a giant octopi octopus creature, um, but basically this is just the head of it, and then like it has this huge body underneath with tentacle feet or whatever 
So basically a giant creature. And you can go in and you can see the brains and stuff. So let me go ahead and turn that off. And um, This is an extra added detail. As you can see the brains are here. And it's uh, rather interesting I guess. And um, it, I, I like this. It, the eyes definitely look pretty good. The uh, It's eaten a lot of people it looks like. Um, let me go ahead and turn Conquest back on. Um, but yeah, the tentacles look a little odd, I guess. Um, I think that they could have looked a little more streamlined and uh, maybe a little more scary. But it is a pretty scary looking, uh, a pretty scary looking head, and I think they did a pretty good job on it. And the adding the water in definitely was a uh, necessity, as it shows that it is underwater, um, and that is a good thing. So good job, guys, on that. I enjoyed that. I enjoy this uh, submission quite a bit. Very nice. Big old tongue coming out. So good job there, Baranthus, or not Baranthus, uh, Lego Tin Hoop and Phil the Milk Maker. And then our fourth and final contestant, uh, or submission, was by the group Keelon, Baranthus, and Tiger Bread. Now they did a very good job uh, bringing things together and making a, what they say is an orc, but I think we can all agree on that this is a goblin. Um, but yeah, this is what I call a goblin, and it has lots of details on it. And let's just kind of go through and try to see all the details. First of all, you can go in it and go into the stomach. Um, you got some hairy armpits here and uh, some flies. Um, you even got the nipples there, so woohoo for that. Uh, you got a big bulging belly, and then you got a big bulging butt. So that's that's important during the contest. I was making saying you guys got to have a bulging belly and a bulging butt. That's the very that is the uh, typical goblin um, thing going on there. Um, you got stinky ears as represented by the flies. You got a crow on the head. Okay, and I'm not sure what's going on with this eye over here, but apparently something is going on there. Maybe some kind of fungus eye. Uh, you got a pauldron going on there. Um, you got, and then you got the haircut, which is really cool. You got the uh, typical, uh, like the little pointy beard, and then the pointy, like ponytail thing and then you got the head of an elf in his hand over here that's what's supposed to be and you got the ear there um, so yeah it definitely looks like an elf that's pretty interesting and it looks like they just cut the head off and then the blood there on the sword is pretty cool with all those drippy blood particles so yeah I think that uh, they did a good job now uh, this contest was judged by me, Iza, Roll, Velocity, and uh, it was pretty much a unanimous vote. So, um, Keelon, Baranthus, and uh, Tigerbred, you guys are the winners of this contest. So, go ahead and mail me, and I'll go ahead and set you up. Uh, first of all, you mail me exactly, you mail me the link to whatever game you want. Make sure that it is under $7, and... Um, I will go ahead and take care of that for you and I'll mail the code back to you. So um, G2A.com and I'll take care of you there for that. But um, yeah, so good job guys. I really enjoyed doing this contest. It was a lot of fun and I look forward to our next one. However, um, uh, it, yeah, also for some of you, you all wonder why there's no contest winner rank. Um, because we don't want to spam chat. Now the only compromise I have for contest winner ranks is that the contest winner ranks would reset each contest so say if um, you get the contest winner rank for the last contest say if, if there's a new contest and the new winner emerges then you would lose your co your contest winner rank and then the new person would get it otherwise we're just gonna have a lot of spammy contest winner ranks in chat and it'll cause a lot of disorganization and make it look really spammy and really disgusting and you know Raven uh, prizes itself and being a uh, organized chat environment you know if you go to any other server you just have this <laughs> all over in the chat and it makes no sense because everyone's like all these different colors and all this different crap and it's just really annoying so that's why we don't do that and I think it's better that way um, some of you won't agree but oh well that's just how it is so that's why I'm not giving away any contest running rank for this but um anyway guys uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah thank you uh, for watching. I already said that. But uh, yeah, for those of you that uh, contended in the contest, great job. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Like I said, a lot of fun. Uh, while we were doing it, there was a lot of people. Everyone was all excited about it. We had uh, probably about 30, eh, probably about 20 people 
uh, flying around here at one time, just kind of looking at everything. And um, again, the stream was very active, lots of people watching, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, cool beans, guys. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, uh, bye bye.